Now, I'm going to be tying a fly they call the Mark Air Claret, or a variant of the Mark Air Claret, which is this one here, the Jungle Cocktail. Now, basically, it's black and claret is used in the, the hackles, the claret body. Now, the tail, as you can see, it's got a Jungle Cock eye. Now, you don't necessarily need to use the Jungle Cock eye, but in this fly, I'm going to be tying with it. If you haven't got it, just use the, the Golden Pheasant. This is the tippet. And it works just as well. You can use whatever you like, but the style of the fly uh, works extremely well. The now, the thread I'm going to be using is the Uni Thread 80 in black. The hook is the Fuller Mill. It's a competition heavyweight. In this case, it's a size 10. This one here. Now, this is a gold tag in the fly, so we start the thread at the eye. Get a good start with the thread, remove the waist, and then get. In this case, this is a gold and silver Mylar tinsel. It's a number 14. Now, I want the gold for the tag, so what I'm doing is continuing down the, the hook, I'm coming round the bend, good couple of mil, come back up with the thread tool. The point where we just start to, as we come up the bend, start to level out, and then before I wind, I'll bring up the, the tinsel, I'm going to put a wee touch of super glue on, which will protect it. The gold side facing, we wind over, form a tag. There we are. Two or three turns is enough. Now we trim this halfway up to this point here, it's a good measure. The jungle cock eye. Now I'm using the one here. Split jungle cock eye, this is, there we are, it doesn't have to be perfect. Use up the split eyes, and you only need the one. Take away the, these side fibres we don't need. Length of the tail, I usually do about the shank length or so, around about that. Set this on the top, come around with a kind of loose turn to just the, the clay, I have to get the jungle cock to sit. I want it to slightly fold, if you can see like that. And there we are, it's because it's split, it's perfect, it just folds down like that. And then again we trim this the length of the first part of the body because the middle of the hackle is claret. Now the rib, I'm using a small oval gold tinsel. What I'm going to do is quickly take the thread up, give a measure, catch in the tinsel, oval tinsel on the way down. Sure, it's going to start at the point. So there we are. There we are. Now, using the claret dubbin, it could be seals for SLF, whatever you like. This is a seals for. Slightly dub it onto your thread. Slide up. And then, what I like to do is just, I don't mind black throwing coming through. It darkens the claret down. That's why I'm using the black thread. If you want to brighten it up, you can use a red thread or even the claret thread, whatever you like. If you're happy with the first part of the body, then you can rub it. I usually like three turns of the rib on either side. Now go up into this, basically the fourth turn, so I can catch it in. Two or three turns. Now just imagine that being ahead of the fly. Imagine the head being there, so just trimming away our rib, tidying that area up. So, a wee bit of wax on my thread, and we tie in a claret hen. This is just a, an Indian Chinese claret hen. It's going to catch in by the tip. Two or three turns down, again, a wee bit of wax. Hold back the tip. That locks it in, bring the thread back, and we can either cut or break away the point, and then we can fold the hackle back, run my fingers through it, and then you're looking round about, I would say about three turns or so. When you're happy with that, come up, fold it with the thread, make a space for the thread to come onto the, the shank of the, sorry, onto the stem of the hackle. And then we can trim this away. I usually like to trim it to full length. 
second part of the body, which is there. You get the odd fibre series, just draw them back. Catch them. There's this stem. It's just a wee touch too long, so I'm going to trim it. So make sure it's tied in. Just continue down. Give your cell about a mil and a half from the eye. And then what we want to do is come back, bring my tinsel back in, my oval tinsel. Let me get it started here. Work our way back down, up against the hackle. There we are. See how it looks, it's fine. And then we go back to our dubbing. Again, lightly dub it onto your thread. It's a good style, this. And then we get it started. We can tighten onto the, the dubbing if we need. And then work our way up. As we wind, we can just twist the dubbing just to keep it on the thread. And then we want three turns on this part as well. Draw back any fibres going forward with your fingers, just draw it back. And then tie in your rib, three or four turns. Trim away the waist. Again, I always like to put you drop wax on my thread. Tidy this area up. It's always one fibre or two that wants to go forward. Just draw them back with your fingers. Now what I'm going to do here is tie in some pre-knotted legs. I've knotted these up. It's dyed claret uh, pheasant tail fibres. Just a single knot at the end there. And I'm looking for six legs. So bring it 90 degrees from the stem. Need another one, there's one of them broke, if you see there, to take that away. Grab another one. Sometimes that happens. Again, line them up, tear them away. I usually like three either side of the shank. Slightly, slightly by the tail. There's a variant of this fly, it's just it's going to tie for Ireland, so... Good for sea trout as much as the brown trout. And it would even take a, a salmon if you fished this fly. So it looks, it's fine. And then we're going to finish off with a, a black hen. Again, we tie this in by the tip. It's just a Indian or a Chinese dyed black. Okay, and what I usually like to do, the good side of the feather facing myself, two or three turns down, fold back the tip, come back up, slide your fingers back, and there's the tip. Now you can cut that away or you can break it off like I'm doing there. And then we just basically fold the fibres back, good side of the feathers facing towards the eye. Depends how good the feather is really, depends on the number of turns. If it's a quite a fine fibre, you may have to do more turns. If it's quite a, nice, a decent uh, fibre, then three turns or so. There we are. Follow up the last turn. Make sure the thread catches right in at the stem. Now, the stem's thin enough that I can fold this back. Draw it back, use your fingers to hold back the materials, keep the thread tight, break that off. And then we can go straight in and about finish. Tighten up. Trim away the thread. So you want moisture when your fingers get there fibres to sit right. Once the fly's had a good swim, you've got a nice shape, you see a nice profile, a lot of movement in the fly, and uh, the legs give it that wee bit something. Now, colour combinations the same, you could change, they could all have versions, you could have uh, black and silver, black and gold, you could do what you like, brown, 
it's a good style tied you tie this up uh, many color combinations I say now, this, this we I call this the Mac claret or basically it's the Mac hair claret but anyway I'm just gonna varnish it Couple of coats of varnish, but touch it to be careful. Don't want the too much. Just all the way around. And there we are. And that's what I call the Mac Claret. There's a variant, as I said, but good pattern. Just make sure the eyes clean. Fish this the wild brown trout, sea trout, and I say you're leaving catch salmon in this if you give it a go. So I hope you enjoy that. <laughs>